Well, a nightmare for a Bay Area family. They are working with federal investigators, desperately hoping to find their loved one. Monica De Leon Barber was kidnapped in Mexico four months ago. And her brother says the woman is being held for ransom now. KTVU's Evan Cernofsky spoke to her brother about the family's efforts to bring her home safely. Joins us now live in the newsroom. Evan? Yeah, Frank, Julie, Monica De Leon Barber was kidnapped more than 120 days ago outside Guadalajara, Mexico. The FBI has offered a $40,000 reward for information leading to her recovery. I spoke to her brother who wants officials here and in Mexico to step up efforts to get her home. For my mother, my father, and myself, it's been absolute torture, as you can imagine. For the past 122 days, Monica de Leon Barba's family has been in anguish. The 29-year-old San Mateo woman was kidnapped in Mexico on November 29th while walking her dog. She is a Bay Area photographer and was visiting family in a town just outside Guadalajara. There was a couple of vehicles parked at a corner. Um, she was just then forced into one of the vehicles and, uh, and taken away. The vehicle sped off in different directions. In an interview over the phone, Monica's brother Gustavo said the family has been in contact with her abductors who are demanding an undisclosed ransom. He said the kidnappers have provided proof that she's alive, but he said his sister's case has not gotten the attention other kidnapped Americans have received and wants local and Mexican authorities to do more. In my sister's case, you know, it's been four months and we haven't had that kind of rally or that kind of action by, uh, by, by the judicial or political system that I can see. Earlier this week, the FBI offered a $40,000 reward for information leading to Monica's safe return. We believe that she's being held uh, almost certainly in Mexico, um, and we are broadcasting news of this reward, not just here in the Bay Area, but um, literally around the world, specifically in Mexico. Monica's friends have started a Facebook page to help spread the word. Well, it's not like the government in Mexico can always help. You know, it's done by a gang or a cartel. I mean, there's a, and, and, and she's targeted. And, you know, they hold all the cards. Rick Smith is a retired FBI agent in San Francisco. He said cases like these can be extremely difficult for families. The FBI um, does not endorse um, the family paying because it just emboldens these people. It may, and sometimes they don't get the, the person back. Uh, but that's easy to say when you're not involved. Monica's family is doing everything they can to get her home. We miss her terribly, and there's no one least deserving of this terrible fate than her right now. Now, Frank, Julie, anyone with information about this case is asked to contact the FBI at 1-800-CALL-FBI. Reporting live in the newsroom, Evan Cernofsky, KTVU, Fox 2 News. Evan, thank you. Two